Welcome to Fabulous Friday. And the inspiration I have for you today is these dropper pendants. And they're circular and they come in different finishes and colors. And I want to show you how you can make them look more you by customizing them a little bit. They're fine on their own, just strung on a piece of chain. But here's what I've done with them. So I've added some color to the metal and I've also put some leather in the center. And I'm going to show you how I did this. So this is a woven pendant that I'm using here. And what I've done is I've added an accent of color and I've used alcohol ink to do that. And so alcohol ink is a staining agent. It's used in painting and drawing, but it's also great for jewelry making because it stains metal. And you'll need a very small fine paintbrush. If you haven't got one of those, you can also use a cocktail stick. So just place a drop of the alcohol ink onto um, a surface that it won't be able to bleed through. I'm just using a piece of hard plastic. I'm dipping my paintbrush into the dot of alcohol ink and then just apply it very gently to the areas on the metal where you would like the colour to be. And what happens is the colour stains the metal so it's very effective and you only need to use a very small amount. So allow the alcohol inks to dry before you do anything else with your pendant. And just make sure that you place more colour where it's needed so you can apply the alcohol inks two or three times if you want to. Then next what you'll need is some leather to go in the centre of the pendant. So I've cut two circles of leather and these are just off cuts of leather that I happen to have so you'll need them both exactly the same size. And first of all, we're going to start by applying some leather glue to the leather. And this leather glue is by Natalia Leather Glue. It's great because it attaches leather really well and securely to metal. So it's perfect for this project. So taking a first piece of leather circle, going to apply some of the leather glue to the outside of the circle. And you want to make sure that the leather is facing upwards so we've got the leather right side because that's what we're going to see through the center of the pendant so just applying that all the way around the outside of the, the circle of leather then place it against the back of the metal pendant and just pat it all the way around make sure it's securely fastened then what we're going to do is to just gently push up the center of the leather to create a domed effect and just do that all the way around and you'll see that little bits of the glue start to seep through but that's okay because this leather glue dries clear and you can use a baby wipe to wipe around the inside of the pendant if you want to just to make sure that you don't have any excess glue so take your glue again and just apply another amount this time more generously it's going to put quite a big amount in the center now what this does is it makes the leather, um, it, it just uh, stiffens the leather so that will allow the dome shape to remain in place once the piece of leather is dried. So you're pushing the leather down so right side up again because the two pieces of suede back to back stick perfectly and then just pressing up gently in the middle again and you'll see that if you leave it to dry that dome shape will stay in place because of the stiffening effects from the glue that you've applied. And you'll need to allow the glue to dry probably for a couple of hours before you wear your necklace. So here are my pieces again. As you can see, I've put some black leather in the center of this one and I've just attached a jump ring and a piece of chain. And then the gold centered um, pendant I've put some red leather and I've also put some little crystals flat back crystals and I've stuck them again with the leather glue it just makes this piece extra gives it the wow factor and adds a little extra bling to it so you can find these pieces on our website at beadhouse.co.uk and also there are links to the products in the description underneath this video